Hey there, welcome everybody. It's digital photography. I'm gonna give you a little photo P lesson. It's gonna include a bit of information about how to use color uh, rulers, and we're gonna talk about how to invert selections. The first thing that you'll wanna do is go under file and go new. We're gonna create a document that's six inches by six inches at 300 resolution. The first step is to drop it from pixels to inches. I'm gonna then put in, type in six, do the same here for the height and I'm going to change the DPI to 300. Remember that's dots per inch and that's our resolution. Next we hit create and we're gonna then go up to view and you wanna make sure that rulers is checked and you wanna also make sure that snap is checked. Now, if it doesn't say, by default it's gonna be in centimeters, so the next step is to go under edit and go down to preferences, which is at the very bottom. And uh, right here where it says ruler units, you wanna drop that menu and you wanna hit inches. So there we go. And then you can X out of that window. And I'm gonna begin by pulling guides from the ruler section. So look real closely, but where the ruler is located here on the top and on the left side, I'm going to click and I'm gonna drag out a guide and place it at the one inch, the one inch mark, the two inch mark, and a three, four, and five. And I will do the same thing using the left ruler here. I'm gonna pull a guide out to one inch, two inches, three inches, four, and five. Okay, if at any time you need to hide the grid, you're gonna hold Control H. So why don't we just practice that real quick? I'm gonna go H like this and you'll see the, the grid will disappear. Sometimes as you're working, uh, the grid can kind of get in the way of things. And so you wanna be able to uh, hide it there for temporarily. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to open up a uh, image, pick any image you like off the internet, and we're gonna then paste it atop this, uh, into this picture plate. Plane. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll go file, I'll go open. I'm uh, just going to basic picture of half dome here. I'm going to go control A for all, control C is copy. And then I go back to my grid here. I'm going to hit control V. Now it's going to either paste it too small or too large. So uh, in my case, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to then do a free transform. Remember free transform is uh, basically just resizing. So I go under edit. I go down to free transform. The keyboard shortcut to make things quicker and more efficient is alt control T. And when you do this, handlebar or handles appear. You're gonna grab that corner handle. You're gonna hold down the shift key and you're then going to, you're gonna enlarge it so that it fills up the, the space there. I think I'll just resize it just a tad. There, that works right there. The last thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the enter key to lock it. And I wanna go fit to screen so that I can see this more clearly. Remember at the top of your keyboard, you've got control plus is zoom, control minus is zoom out, and then you've got control zero, and that's gonna be fit to screen. Notice there's a little bit of white up here, so I'm just going to uh, use the arrow keys on my keyboard and just kind of nudge that up a little bit. Now it nudges by one pica, if you just click the arrow key up, and if you hold the shift key down, it will go 10 pica. And so let me just show you real quick. If I hold the shift key down, it moves rather rapidly. And then if I do it just without the shift key on, you can barely see it. It's That's called micro nudging. Uh, we'll talk about that later. I'm just gonna put that into place. And uh, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be inverting this picture. Now this is just an exercise. We're not, we're just playing around here. We're not making anything too serious. I'm gonna go over to the marquee tool. Remember that's located beneath the uh, move tool. Okay, the first tool that we learned. So I click on that square. If you don't see the square and it's a circle, you just do a right click and then you can change it up to a rectangle select. So I'm going to start in the top corner and I'm going to click down and I'm going to drag up in the space and it's then going to select. Let me zoom in so you can see that plenty clear. Okay, it's gonna select that top area. The next thing I wanna do is I'm going to invert it. So that's control and I. 
Okay, and that's going to flip the color. Now, as you can see, the opposite of blue, which is the sky, is going to be this orange. Uh, it's an orangey brown. Um, so just keep that in mind is that you, when you're working with color, you're going to achieve whatever is opposite on the color wheel. But why don't we, for the sake of making this really simple, we're just going to turn this entire image black and white. So the way that you're going to do that is you hold down Control, Shift, and you hit U. And you'll notice that the entire image will go black and white. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, is I'm going to skip over a spot. I'm going to grab my marquee tool again. And then I'm going to go over the X here. Okay, so it selects that. And again, I'm going to go invert. And I'm just going to go through and alternatively, uh, alternately go through the entire picture and just flip all of these so as to, to invert them. Okay, then I'll go to this one. And what you'll notice is that we have what's called snapping appearing. And, and snapping is that when I draw this line, it's going to snap or kind of magnetize to the guides that I've created with these blue lines. Let me invert that. And I'm going to go down here. Invert. And I'm just going to work my way across. I'm going to probably go into time lapse here as I flip this image around. Okay. Let's see. And alternate this one. It can get kind of fusing, confusing when it's black and white, but you'll see the finished product here in just a minute. And we're creating kind of like a checkerboard. So again, I'm holding down control. I'm hitting I. I'm going to skip that square. I'm going to go down to this square. Control I, do the same here, here. And this might take you a few minutes. It kind of gives it a little bit of a different look. And there we go. And we've got two more squares to go. So just hang tight. And this is the last one. All right. Now what we'll do, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. You can see I've got this kind of checkerboard pattern going on. Now this column going down is going to be red. Then we've got orange. We've got yellow, green, blue, and purple. And I'm going to show you how it is that we're going to then um, change these up. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab that marquee tool again. And I'm going to, uh, sometimes you <laughs> sometimes you accidentally pull down the guide. That happens. But what I'll do is get as close as I can to that ruler. And I'm going to select this entire column. Okay, so you can see the bounding boxes around the first column. And I'm going to change this to red. So I'm going to either, I'm going to go to, Control U, which is the easiest way to do this. So hold down that control key and hit U. You can also go image adjustments and uh, go down to uh, where's the color one here? Uh, color balance, hue or saturation. It's going to pop up the exact, uh, actually, hue and saturation. It's going to pull up this exact same window. And first step is I'm going to hit colorize. So this tiny little box down the left is pretty powerful. I'm going to click that box. I'm then going to bump the saturation all the way up to 100. As you can see, it turns it red. Uh, if it doesn't turn it red, you're just going to have to move the hue. Remember, hue is just a fancy word for color. So I'll just kind of eyeball that. That looks like red. I'm going to hit OK. Then I move over to the next one. I'm going to, again, have a marquee tool selected. I can even. Let's see, I can hit Control D for deselect. I might want to actually zoom out just a little bit. It might make your life a little bit easier. Or you could get rid of the grids if you would prefer. And again, that's Control H. I'm going to make a selection here. And then I'm going to go Control U. And this one's going to be orange. So I'm going to hit Colorize again. 
I'm going to move the saturation all the way up there, but that one's red. So I'm going to use the hue and that looks, that looks orange. So I'm going to hit okay. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm on the marquee tool. I could hit deselect there or I could just select it like that. I'm going to go control U, colorize box, saturation all the way. This one's going to be yellow. And where's yellow? It looks like about yellow right there. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to come over to this box, click. I'm going to select the entire column there. Again, Control U, colorize box, saturation to 100. I'm going to move this window out of the way. And now I'm looking for a green. Where's the green going the other way? There we go, and then I hit OK. Next, I'm gonna click, and then I'm gonna click the marquee again, and it's naturally gonna snap to the guides. Control U, colorize, saturation to 100. This one's gonna be blue. We got blue going there? No, that's not blue. There we go, I'm like blue right there. I hit OK, and last, we're gonna do purple. And so I use the marquee tool to select that up. I'm gonna go over to control U again, colorize box, saturation 100. And we're gonna to try to find purple here. Purple looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna hit control H. Again, control H will make the grid disappear. The guidelines disappear for a second. All right, next I'm gonna grab my text tool. And I'm gonna then click on my picture. It's gonna load the font. I'm going to then uh, enlarge the font all the way. And I'm going to write my name. So once I have my name there, I'm gonna put my name in the bottom right corner. And that's it for this tutorial. We're working a little bit with color, learning about snap and rulers and invert. Remember invert is control I. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Take care and remember, upload this to the link in Canvas.